Alright guys, hey, welcome back to another episode of Scrotitis Plays Feed the Beast. How you guys doing? We are hanging out today in our furnace room, our blue electric room, and we are going to address the issue that you see currently at hand. We are, are running, we were running our blue electric alloy furnace and we're running our two uh, normal blue electric furnaces and our battery box is getting dangerously low and the reason for that being we have one power source and that is up above that is our solar panels other than that guys we got nothing and uh, that's actually going to be a big problem for us because uh, it's going to end up sucking this dry this battery and we'll have to wait till morning to get more power to be able to uh, smelt anything in our furnaces so that's a big problem so what that leads us to doing today is making thermopiles and it's the uh, second option for power in uh, red power or I'm sorry not well in the red power mod pack but um, let's see oh I need these real easily uh, the crafting recipe is, is really simple and it's simply uh, copper in the four corners you get these blue dope wafer, wafers on either side you got this in the middle and you put some tin up and that's not it oh tin that's why you put iron up here and there you go guys thermopile we're gonna make all eight of those that we can okay we'll save our iron for something super awesome that we do later don't know exactly what that's gonna be right now but it will be super awesome I promise you that <laughs> so anyway what we need to do is uh, we need to grab our blue alloy wiring which we're gonna have to make some more of that I thought we had another battery box somewhere is it in there? there it is in our miscellaneous box which you can see is quite full we need to set up a lot more of our sorting but uh, let's go ahead and get started with um, where did it? sorry guys I need to make some more of that blue alloy wiring because we're gonna be running that a good bit uh, I'm looking for there it is well let's make what, what, what we make 24 more of those. That will work for me. Surround it with wool. If you guys didn't see this recipe before, and that gets just 24. The 10 we already got, we should be good. All right, so now um, we are building this actually directly below here. And let me explain to you how a thermopile actually works, okay? What this is going to do is allow us to generate power at all hours of the day. And what's kind of neat about a thermopile is that it has actually the same output as a solar panel, but solar panels can only run during the day. So uh, the bonus with these guys to give them time to catch up is that they run 24 hours a day or 20 minutes in a Minecraft day, whatever it is. They run night and day in Minecraft to allow the power to catch up. So what we're going to do is just make an array of these guys and... Oh. I don't want to show you guys what's down there because that's going to be in an upcoming episode. But let's get rid of this guy first. He is kicking our butt. Holy cow. Okay. So, anyway, you can see uh, just a quick peek. Sorting machine is running, and it looks awesome. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I get sidetracked. What a thermopile does is that it generates power by uh, detecting the difference, and that's the one thing that we forgot, between a hot source and a cool source. Um, what I mean by that, and I am going to explain, guys, is that it generates the difference between lava and ice, or lava and snow, or in our case, lava and water. Now, I was experimenting something creative with both snow and ice with the lava in the thermopile. And unfortunately, what happens is the lava has a chance of melting the snow and ice and turning it into water anyway. So it sort of defeats the purpose of using water. 
All right. So what we're going to do, and actually I need to knock this wall out, I think. Um, it compares adjacent sides to itself. So what that means is you got your thermopile down on the ground there. And it compares this side to this side to this side to this side to the top and the bottom. And it generates a difference, and that's how much power it generates. Now, to be optimal, uh, the most perfect one would have lava on two sides and ice on two sides because ice is the coldest, lava is the hottest. But uh, like I said, the ice would melt into water and so it would be less efficient anyway. So what we are going to do, guys, is do um, lava. Let me see where I want to put this. That's the wall. Yeah, this is the wall here. Let me see how that cable is, actually. I want to try to connect up with that same system. So, you know what? Let's take that out. And we might actually just put our other battery right there. Let's take this out, too, actually, for the time being. And we may just put um, a glass block there so we can see the full battery. Uh, huh? And let's, um, let's just plug that right there. Now, it's actually charging from, from the, the above one, but that's all right. And then what we need to do is go back up there. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This one may be a little up and down because we're kind of shooting from the hip, as the expression says uh, on this episode. But what I want to do is uh, sort of build this one with you guys. It's a practice that I like doing that I feel that we've sort of gotten away from with my series. So... Uh, we're going to be suffering through this one together, all right, guys? Anyway, let's take this down. Shouldn't be too much jumping around because we are right here, right next to each other. And what we're going to do is run this down here, and we're going to run our cable. There it is. Right down from there. And that's going to allow us to power that box. But these guys like coming over there and do not like me at all. Come on, let's go. Your brother earlier kicked my butt, but I'm ready for you now. All right, so let's see. How do we want to do this? I think if we do it like this, is that going to be too close to those stairs? Hmm. All right, now I'm just sort of thinking out loud as I build this, but I'm thinking what we need to do, and we'll just run this right like this, and I think we want to leave this open for ease of walking, if for no other reason, so, yeah, no, that was, that was where we want that, and what we're going to do is uh, actually dig out below each one, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, all right, five for the time being. We made eight, and what I ultimately want to do is stack them on top of each other. Come on. Oh, I'm out of room. I want to stack these guys, so let's throw that there, and you know what? Free up a little bit of space here real quick. There's that. Of course I pick up the cobble. <laughs> Give me that. There. All right. So now let's start getting our lava in there, and that'll free up some space. And the thermopiles are going to be sitting on top of each one of these lava buckets. Okay. Lava there. Lava there. And I actually only have five lava buckets. That's why we stopped at the five. It actually works out pretty perfectly. Uh, let me go ahead and dig these out. And that's going to be this. Okay. There. And we need that to go there, there, there. And that's my wife, guys. Hold on one second, and I will get right back to you. All right, guys, sorry about that, but we are back, and I've just done nothing important, just a little dressing up of the area. I think it looks pretty nice. 
We're going to continue that pattern there and then do an archway here, I think, maybe, possibly. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, that's not really the important thing. What is important is our thermopile system. Okay? So, let's get right back into this. That actually I might keep there. In a little infinite water source. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We need to finish that wall there too. Actually, let's do that real quick. Sorry, guys. I know this is not a priority, but if I don't do it now, I'll probably forget about it. So if we just get that put in right there, and yeah, that those need knocked out too. Perfect. One, two. All right. So back to our thermopiles. And what I did was I made this water source down here so that we can... Whoa. So we can place our thermopiles and start getting some business done here. All right. So, and you know what? The more I think about this, we're going to have to do it this way. I don't think you can place stuff on top of lava. So let's go ahead and place dirt in. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be able to get rid of those. Let's do it this way. That was almost a disaster. This way, this way. And we should be good there. Okay. So, like I said, a thermopile works by uh, using the difference in temperatures between hot and cold and generating power. So, if we go ahead and put our thermopile right there and there, okay, all of a sudden we're, our area is getting safer again. We don't have exposed lava, which is cool. There. There. And there. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, no. Dang it. I need to take these back up. <laughs> Hold on. I forgot to put water in there. Um, shoot. How am I going to do this? Oh, well, we'll just have to do it from the top, dummy. There. All right. And we'll take these blocks out. That would work, wouldn't it? And we'll get rid of this. Like I said, shooting from the hip here, guys. And that. So let's go ahead and start filling in our water. Alright, and we're back guys, and as you can see now, each thermopile has one lava source block, and it is then surrounded by four water source blocks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so on, so on, so on, and we're sharing to conserve space, which is key. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw all those up there like that, and get our cabling, and you know what, those guys have been finding their way down there way too quickly often. And, all right, real quick, guys, just so you know, no, I have not started Thomcraft yet. Uh, I found both of these items uh, in a dungeon. Maybe I'll show you guys that uh, in an in a upcoming episode. Pretty cool dungeon, actually. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, back to business here. I'm rambling again. Let's go ahead and get our blocks down and then run our cables and that's going to connect into the top of each one of those and we're just going to run it all the way around the outside of the room oh shoot you know what I just realized that maybe hmm let me see here guys we should probably move that back one huh yep that needs moved back all right, I am going to actually cut for a second because this is going to get kind of sloppy messing with this water. And I will join back with you guys once I have this moved back, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. And you may notice that I did not change anything. <laughs> the reason for that is uh, my measurements on this wall would have been off then, too. And it just would have been too big of a pain in the butt, honestly. Uh, so we're just going to leave it that way. But um, there. That now connects to all those and then goes up our wall into our second battery box. So what's kind of cool about having two battery boxes next to each other is that they pull power from one another, which is cool. Um, it also means that they um, 
can get power from both the solar panels during the day and from the thermopiles at night. Now, the only thing that I wish we had going on that I don't know how to explain to you guys is to show that the power is actually coming out of these. So let's go ahead and see the sun's coming up now, so that's not going to be very helpful. But let's throw these in here and throw this in here and see how our power levels do. Do we have anything we can do in here? Let's grab some more of this. I want to try to use as much of this power as possible before day comes so that we can get an idea of our power source. Okay, we sort of see everything getting drained on, but it's not dropping the way it should be. You know what, do we have anything we... And the sorting machine's actually going too. So uh, those should be uh, firing off as well. Sort of get an idea there of how everything goes. Um, the sun now is probably high enough that it's charging the solar panels, though. So, well, they're running and not losing power. Wow, that thing just flies through stuff. That's another reason why I love this blue electric stuff. Look how fast this furnace is. That's fast as an electric furnace, if not a little bit faster, and it takes really no resources. Either we're doing the, the, the thermal piles, which you just have water sitting next to lava, or you got solar panels, which is just exposing panels of the sun. So either way there is pretty awesome. But uh, one thing then that we can do with these thermal piles, which might be kind of cool, is run a third battery box right here. And I'm thinking about moving our pulverizers in up there. That might be an option. Hmm. All right, guys. So, hey, that's our thermopile set up. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and I think it's going to actually be really beneficial for us. If we check it up, out again from up here, pretty cool looking shot. Um, and these furnaces are still going. Obviously, the solar power is on. But the battery box hasn't lost barely a drip of power, either one of them. Which that's actually another bonus to to uh, securing our power supply, adding that second battery box. Uh, and like I said, I think we may make a third. Plop it in over here, and uh, that setup that we got going over there with the pulverizers. Maybe move that in right here. Uh, maybe even some buildcraft pipes over into our furnaces. That might be cool. I wonder how these interact if. Uh, where the pipes have to go in, if the top would work. I don't know. Uh, something to consider, though, guys. Um, but I am going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, the Thermopile. Uh, awesome resource that we built here. We've got three left over. I don't know if we are going to use them here. Uh, my initial thought was to try and stack them. But to stack... Well, you know what? We probably could stack right there, huh? Because we need to have lava here. Now, we can't put a block there. I don't think lava would stay on that wire. Um, hmm. It's a possibility, guys, but I'm not positive yet how or if we will do that. For the time being, I think this should be good enough to sustain our power levels. I'm going to test it out at night to double check things. But like I said, this is uh, this has been the end of the ep of uh, our episode today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. Learned a little bit about thermopiles and more stuff about red power, which is always fun. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you again for all the support. I hope you're enjoying the Feed the Beast series. And I do want to let you know that we are planning some really cool stuff for the Vanilla Minecraft series. It's just I've been taken over by... Um, feed the beast right now so uh i apologize for that but we will be getting we will be getting an episode out soon so anyway guys i will check you guys all in the next episode we'll see ya